six years and 220 million. This is what it took Mooglix to grow from seed to unicorn and become the 13th Indian unicorn in 2021 alone after it raised 120 million in Series E funding. I'm Alice Basomi, VP Investment at Jungle Ventures, and today I'm in conversation with Rahul Garg, founder and CEO of Moglix, the leading B2B e-commerce for industrial products and a close friend of Jungle. Welcome, Rahul. Good to have you with us today. It's been an exciting journey, and I think uh, it's uh, great to have Jungle being a partner of the journey and seeing it uh, and working closely on how we grow the organization to this scale. And, and this is just the beginning. So first things first, how did you pick that industry, that problem at that point in time? Um, was there you know, a sense of urgency to fix something? Was it through serendipity? I'm curious to learn uh, what was the process. So I think uh, uh, as many of uh, you might know, I spent five years with Google before starting Moglex and had a vantage point where I was working with commerce companies, ad tech companies, map tech companies, uh, travel companies across uh, the length and breadth of Asia. And one of my students was also leading Google search, uh, all new product launches for Asia. And one of our failed attempts was actually launching Google for business, trying to disrupt uh, the entire ecosystem of suppliers, which is on Alibaba and uh, coming on to Google as a platform. And I realized during that journey, plus working with the commerce and seeing Indian e-commerce uh, move towards consumer coming online, that yes, a lot of action happening on the consumer e-commerce front, but the businesses are still living in a very, very old technology, old ways of communication, old ways of managing the supply chain. And this needs to change because we are talking of uh, almost anywhere between 20 to 30 percent of the country's GDP, which is working in an old school manner and has been like that for let's say five to seven decades. And I think that's what uh, continued to increase my curiosity. Uh, I've always been passionate about picking large problems which drive large impact over a period of time. So, uh, so this problem was there. I mean, it was for somebody to pick it up. And I grew, grew up in a family of engineers where we have been always close to manufacturing and very, very passionate about how we can drive uh, the manufacturing sector to grow to a trillion dollar, which is a vision for India. Uh, and I felt that I could play a part in that by launching Moplex. At that point in time, there were players in the market already, right? Um, some marketplaces, some listing businesses. So um, how do you kind of build a distinct and strong value proposition that was sticky enough um, to make your you know, customers grow? and, and I remember you started by providing a software and then you added the, the marketplace. Um, so how do you look at starting in a market with you know some competition existing and really building something which is a, a distinct and strong value proposition? So firstly, I think if you look at it, when we started, yes, the only platform that existed was a classified platform. And the classified platform typically tries to connect uh, based on a customer query to a supplier, a potential supplier of product or service. And these journeys in India has been broken. We have seen in the consumer commerce that every single classified platform has been disrupted continuously by a transaction oriented platform. Whether you take in past, you would try and call a restaurant and try to get uh, the food delivered or food pickup. If you take a cab service, if you take a plumber, electrician, every single consumer service has gone through that journey of moving from a classified to a transaction oriented. Because a customer or an end business at the end of it want that product or service with high quality being delivered. And this was an unmet need. Now the thing is in businesses, this complexity increases because it's not as simple a decision making, as simple a payment process, as simple the kind of SLAs that may be required because if you're working with manufacturing organization, a product does not arrive. If manufacturing plants, probably the production line is getting impacted. You would have millions of dollars of lost production, things like that. Also, you need to be aware of what is going to be the buying process and so on and so forth because um, it is critical that an organization uh, professionally is looking at what are the kind of uh, total cost that they have associated with the particular purchase that is happening. So for us, it was like uh, the end-to-end -end study of like uh, the entire customer experience journey. And I believe 
uh, at that point in time that nobody was focused on thinking about the problem end to end people would apply a little bit uh, narrow viewpoint of uh, trying to pick up one piece of the problem but not look at it as a full stack solution which needed uh, to stitch together the entire customer journey end to end and that's where i think the combination of software technology combination of our warehousing and commerce capabilities i think we started to build all of that and uh, even as we stand today while uh, unicorn is one of the steps that uh, people talk about and want to sort of understand but if you look at it we are still less than 1% of the market so we are looking at like probably 50 to 100x from where we are today so we have uh, we are still in the pursuit of solving the customer problem to the uh, extent that it needs to be solved for the future